Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. Yo, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another banger video for y'all, man. So as y'all can see by the title, the thumbnail, we are going to be adding another modification to Vader yet again. If you guys haven't been in tune with all of the uploads, we did get our custom plate already. We picked that up. Um, yeah, well today. Uh, yesterday for you guys whenever this vlog drops, but yeah, man just got the custom plate super stoked about that Give you guys a quick little walk around of Vader man If you guys haven't seen the video where we took this car to the drag strip make sure you guys go tap in it ran a best time of 12 4 in the quarter mile Super dope, stock car, stock tires, stock everything. All it has is a Rotofab intake and that's it. So I'm super proud of the car. Slept on the reaction time. Definitely got to get that better and stuff like that. But overall, the car performed really well. Um, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and jump into today's video, man. So yes, it is another interior modification. I'm sorry. For all of those who don't like these videos, I apologize. I don't see how you can't because they're filled with Nothing but carbon, man. Carbon there, carbon all over the steering wheel, carbon on the side skirts, carbon on the center uh, console. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, this is not carbon. Oh, a package from Next Gen Speed. Oh, I wonder what this could be. Seems like it's some more carbon fiber. So let's go ahead and pop this package open real quick, man. Like I tell y'all in almost every video, almost every one of these videos, I, I really think I have a problem. Like, I can't even lie to y'all. I love carbon fiber, like, so much. So the fact that Next Gen Speed went ahead and sponsored the channel is a huge plus for me, but a huge negative on my bank account. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man. I already know it's gonna be some fire, dog. Anything that comes from Next Gen Speed is always fire. Oh my god. Sheesh, man. Shout out Next Gen Speed. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, shout out Next Gen Speed, man. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go check them out on Instagram on their actual webpage, man, and get you some carbon fiber, bro. Use the code JI Productions underscore to save yourself some money at checkout, but oh my god. So this is the passenger, obviously. Um, so let me unwrap the driver's side real quick and we'll mock it up and show you guys what it's gonna look like. Oh my god. Sheesh, dude, that looks so good. We also have a piece coming for the steering wheel, the very last piece for the steering wheel should get here today, man. But oh, uh, shout out next gen speed boy, they carbon just always looks up to par, man. Just like all of the carbon fiber installs that you guys have seen me do recently, all you got to do is take off this uh protective film that's over the double side sticky tape, clean the area where you're going to be laying the carbon, add some adhesive booster if you'd like. I recommend on big pieces like this adding some just to be on the safe side so that it'll lay completely nice and smooth. But oh my god, y'all don't even understand how stoked I am for how this interior is turning out. Oh my god. 
<laughs> but yeah, man, let me go grab the adhesive booster real quick and then we'll go ahead and install these pieces. All right, y'all. So, like I was saying, got some alcohol wipes. Just gonna go ahead and wipe down the area real quick. Y'all don't understand. I'm super stoked for uh, these, knee, these knee pads, man. Because just having that, like, exposed plastic is just... I ain't gonna lie. It looks hella cheap. <laughs> Chevy definitely cut corners with that one. I can't say that. It definitely cut some corners with that one. But yeah, now that you got the surface uh, cleaned, all you gotta do is peel back the little protective covering. Be careful. Try to get it all off in one strip. Because if you don't, the way that Next Gen Speed got theirs, it's like... It, it, if it doesn't come off all in one piece, it's coming off piece by piece type, so just be careful. Got that last piece off. The area should be dry now from when you wiped it down. And you want to get your adhesive booster and kind of just, you know... I guess you could say cake it on there and get it like really covered. That way you ain't got no issues in the future. I really like this uh, this bottle that I got. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, it's super glue. I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know what I'm saying? But they got like a like a painter's brush on it. It's a new bottle they got. I ain't gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say I really like it like a hundred percent just because I don't because there's not, it's a big old bottle and there's not even a lot in here. Not even like half of it, honestly, so. <laughs> Super glue executives, if you're watching this, y'all need to step it up. I need to this. This ain't for me. Now that we got the centerpiece prepped, y'all can see we cover the carbon with a little bit of adhesive booster. I'm gonna go ahead and literally just place it down. And just hold it down in place like I told y'all with the other pieces for about 10 seconds to ensure that it's fully on there. It should be good, yep. Sheesh, oh my God, y'all. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the passenger side and I'll show you guys the end result. Just like that, y'all, the install is complete. Sheesh. I love how it curls over the little border of it. Oh my God. Get y'all the driver's perspective. Oh, oh my God. Hop in this joint and just see straight carbon. Sheesh. My goodness. But yeah, man, that's actually going to do it for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about the carbon that I just added to the car. You guys think it looks good? You guys think it looks bad? Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below, man. Give this video a big thumbs up, turn on those post notifications, man. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.